Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Sisi on the occasion of his country's July Revolution. His Majesty the King extended the deepest congratulations to President Al Sisi, wishing him good health and happiness, and his country and people further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Majesty the King praised the deep rooted bilateral relations binding the two brotherly countries and peoples, noting steadily growing joint ties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Sisi, on the anniversary of the Revolution Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister of Israel, Yar Lapid. During the call, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the importance of further bilateral relations, coordination and cooperation across a range of areas. His Royal Highness expressed best wishes to Lapid in his role as Prime Minister of Israel. They also discussed regional and international issues of common interest. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, held a meeting with the British Secretary of State for International Trade, Anne Marie Trevelyan, on the sideline of his official visit to the United Kingdom. Minister Al Zayani affirmed the deep historical relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and their steady development at all levels. He noted the importance to continue boosting achievements mainly in the economic field to achieve the aspirations of the two friendly countries and people. They reviewed the ongoing negotiations concerning the free trade agreement between the GCC countries and the UK and its positives for both sides. They also discussed the issues of common interest pertaining mainly to increasing bilateral investments. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, stressed the Ministry's keenness on promoting the youth oriented training programs through various initiatives that are in accordance with the ongoing developments in the training field and the labor market needs. Al Mu'ayyad said the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs seeks to create a qualified and well trained generation equipped with the needed skills. Marking the launch of the 11th edition of the Youth City 2030, the Minister affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to tap into the youth's potentials and capabilities. He praised the Youth City 2030 as one of the distinguished initiatives that enjoys the support of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs pointed out that the youth city will provide 2,400 training opportunities in various fields over five weeks. He lauded the strategic partnership between the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the Labour Fund Tabkeen in implementing the youth city, which will help create a generation equipped with multiple skills and capabilities in various fields. The Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Arab Republic of Egypt and Permanent Representative to the Arab League, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, headed Bahrain's delegation to the extraordinary meeting of the Economic and Social Council at the ministerial level. Discussions focused on the ongoing preparations for the next Arab summit in its 31st regular session. It was also agreed to include a number of economic and social issues among the priorities of joint Arab development work on the summit's agenda. The National Institution for Human Rights highlighted Bahrain's efforts in maintaining a Tier 1 status in the U.S. Department of State Trafficking in Persons report for the fifth consecutive year. The NIHR praised the Kingdom's keenness to combat the crime of trafficking through the continuous development of legislations, procedural and administrative tackles to achieve justice, support victims, and help them overcome psychological and social repercussions. The NIHR President Ali Ahmed Adrazi confirmed that the achievement follows the directives of His Majesty the King in achieving preservation of human rights field. 
at the Razi stressed the follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to preserve the rights of citizens and residents, advance all government institutions in the human rights field, and ensure the rules of equality in the kingdom.